Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's recipe video, I am going to be sharing what I feed my family in a day. It is Monday today. This is the first week the kids are back to school properly. So I feel like I am back in the kind of groove of things. I am working with HelloFresh on this video and I have got an epic discount code to share with you. If you use the discount code 60 hello Kerry, this will get you 60% off your first box ordered through HelloFresh and then 25% off your next eight boxes. That is a huge discount and one that goes on for two months. So it will have you covered for such a long time. For those of you who haven't heard of HelloFresh before, it's a subscription meal service that gets delivered right to your door. You go onto their website, you can order some meals and choose for how many people you want them to cater for. So two, three or four. And you also choose how many meals you want catered for during the week. Over Christmas, we just had so many people coming to stay and we were so busy that I was getting five meals a week for four people and it was just so convenient. Every single week they upload new recipes to their website so if you get a box delivered every week you can always have a different meal to choose from. You'll see that I've also added a little QR code here on screen. If you scan that with your phone, it'll take you over to the HelloFresh website. So it makes it super easy to order your boxes through this QR code. It is Monday today and we have been doing meat-free Mondays. We're really enjoying it. I think I might actually carry it on, not just throughout January, but for like the rest of the year as well, hopefully. But I'll let you know how I get on with that. So today, as we're having a meat-free Monday, I am making this veggie moussaka, which is a HelloFresh meal. I will show you how I make this veggie moussaka and you can judge which looks better, this one or my one. So the kids have actually already gone off to school, but what they had was some Weetabix. It's one of their favorite breakfasts. They like to have three Weetabix biscuits each. They then put a little bit of milk and cinnamon on top, warm it in the microwave just for a minute, and then they just have a drizzle of honey on top. So this is how I start my day. This is just an Americano, a little bit of oat milk and some honey. And I always have a coffee while I make the kids lunch boxes. So let me quickly show you what I am putting in their lunch boxes today. So here's everything that I'm going to put into the kids pack lunches. So I've got my thermos flask here. These are so good. What I do is I just actually put some boiling water in here to begin with to warm it through. And then um, I cook up some pasta, pop it in there. Well, I empty the water out, pop the pasta in there and then it stays really nice and hot for the whole day. So what I am cooking, let me show you over here. Here I have got, these are goat's cheese and caramelized onion sort of filled pastas. They're so good. Once these have cooked through, I then just add some olive oil and some salt and pepper on here and then pop them into the thermos flask. So I'm just cooking that through now before I run out of time before they go off to school. And then back over here, what I have also got that I'm going to make, I've got this little kind of container that the kids take to school. So I just put some natural yogurt in there. I've cut up one apple and then I've got some squeezy honey. So I'll do some yogurt, the apple, and then the squeezy honey on top pop the lid on and that's their kind of like dessert at school. Rory has got a club after school today so I always like to pack him a little bit extra because he gets so hungry and he's not home until like half past four. So what I'm gonna put in his lunchbox as well are these little chickpea puffs and he's got a special K bar so that's going to just see him through for the whole day and then when he gets home it will be dinner time. So as you can see they've got a really nice healthy veggie lunch and it all fits really nicely in this little lunchbox too. Because I start my day off with my coffee it kind of gets me through the morning and then now that it's 10 o'clock is when I start to get a little bit hungry. So what I'm actually having for breakfast and I've just made it is some sourdough bread and then I have put some rose harissa and Moroccan spiced hummus over the top. I know maybe you're looking at it thinking, what a weird breakfast, but don't knock it until you tried it because it is absolutely delicious. Right, so for Chris and my lunch, we are going to be having a really nice dumpling soup. So these are just dumplings that I picked up. They're vegetable dumplings and they come with like a little soy sauce on the side. You can also get these frozen, but they didn't have any at the shops. So that's why I got these ones, but I'm actually going to use this soy on the side as well. So I've also got two vegetable stock cubes, loads and loads of pak choy. This soup is honestly just such a cleansing soup. And because you have loads of liquid in there as well, it's really filling. And then what I have got, I usually buy um, Tom Yum paste, 
but I decided to try this miso paste today instead. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is just popping this miso paste into my pot and I'm just gonna heat that through for about a minute or so. I'm then going to top my pot up with half a litre of boiling water per person, along with my two veggie stocks, and I'm just gonna bring that up to the boil. Once that started boiling, I'm then ready to put my dumplings in as well as my pak choy, as these only take about two to three minutes to warm through. Once they have warmed through, that is your soup complete. It is then ready to serve. As you can see, this is just a pot full of health and lovely broths, and it's a really, really nice cleansing soup to have for lunch or even a dinner. You guys know how much I love my hot water. This is my third hot water of the day. I'm not very good at drinking cold water, so this I find absolutely delicious. I know that sounds really odd because it's hot water, but try it and I think you will enjoy it. So Jamie's just got back from school. Show us your snack. Rice Krispie bar and he's doing his Lego. So like I said earlier, Rory has after school clubs today. So he's not back till a bit later, which is why I packed his bar and some crisps in his lunchbox. But Jamie is having his after school. <laughs> nice. I also wanted to just show you what else Jamie's eaten. He just had an orange, I just had some too. It was so good, it was like the juiciest orange ever. These are the Jaffa oranges. Oh my gosh, they are honestly the best. How's your leg going, Jay? Good. Yeah, good. Okay, so it is now dinner time, and like I said earlier, I am making this veggie moussaka with lentils and garlic chia batter for dinner. This meal is gonna take me like 40 to 45 minutes to make, and it is four of our five a day. So with your HelloFresh box, when you get it, you obviously get the cards that correspond to the meals that you have ordered. And then on the card, it has a little number on there. So this has number 42. And then as you can see, it corresponds with a number on a bag that you have in your box. So this whole bag, I just pop into the fridge. And then when it comes to making this meal, I just pull out number 42 from the fridge and everything I need to create this veggie moussaka is in here. So it's super, super easy. Then on the back of your card, as you can see, it takes you through all the different steps that you need to go through to make this meal. So first of all, I need to prep my veg, then I need to heat through a frying pan, add in my oregano, cinnamon, and half of the garlic, and then I need to add in my lentils, Worcestershire sauce, my vegetable stock cube, and some chopped tomatoes. Then I'm just gonna roast my aubergines in the oven for a little bit before building my veggie moussaka. To build my veggie moussaka, I'll lay down my tomato sauce, then I'll add a layer of sliced aubergines, some of my creme fraiche, and then I'll top with some Parmesan cheese. Then to finish it off, I'm just going to make my garlic chia batter on the side, and it is then ready to serve. The steps are really, really easy to follow, and as you can see, an absolutely delicious meal is created at the end. Right, I've just had a wash. This has been growing all day. So I've had a wash, I've got another hot water. Lots of people say like, when do you have your glass of wine? I don't really drink during the week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I do like to have a couple of glasses of wine, but I try to not have it during the week just so that I can try and be a little healthier. So I've got my hot water. However, I haven't quite got over or through the Christmas chocolate yet, and I'm not very good at, if something's in the house, I'm not very good at kind of um, not having it. So, I keep my chocolate in the fridge, so I'm gonna have, oh, let me show you. That's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have that, that's a row. Oh, I just love it. Dairy milk is my absolute favorite, so that's what I'm gonna have now didn't break that row very well, so I'm just gonna finish off the rest of the row so I don't miss out. So yeah, that is basically everything we eat in the day. I'm just gonna finish it off with this chocolate. The dinner was absolutely delicious. Do not forget to use my code 60 Hello Kerry if you want to get 60% off your first box of HelloFresh and then 25% off your next eight boxes. I'm not sure why Lulu is barking so much. What's the matter? What are you barking at? Rory's doing his Duolingo now. So I'm gonna end this video now so we can all chill now on the sofa, enjoy our chocolate, the boys can finish off their Duolingo and then go to bed. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye.